So yeah, welcome to a game called Stormage, and it, it is the demo version of this, so yeah, standard demo disclaimer applies. Also, it will be linked in the description below if you want to go ahead and uh, try this game out for yourself. And feel free to yell at me in the comments below if uh, I've uh, somehow forgotten to do that. Also, uh, you want to see uh, uh, just how loud the game actually is? Yeah, there's a reason I got the master volume on too. Anyways, uh, that was it on uh, the match cell level. Anyways, I think the uh, the uh, default starting uh, music is a bit too loud. And if you're wondering why I do that, it's uh, to raise awareness of that issue. So yeah, new game, please. That's enough awfully on about the menu. Uh, Birchwood Village is not far away. It's been 20 years, Lily, and I hate this place. Hi. Don't give me a reason, another reason to hate this place, Bear. Okay, so WSD to move, left click to shoot your uh, ability, and space to dodge. Ow. Right, so I probably should avoid uh, that. Perfect dodge is performed if you dodge and attack uh, with attach at just the right time. Oh, great, there's timing in this game, so I'm probably gonna fail horribly. Right, so managed to get past that without getting it, so that's good. Also, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of shenanigans for me. And yep, basic attack is left mouse button. Hmm. And so far, the basic attack is just a uh, fireball to the face. I can get behind that. And do the other one. And that's how you uh, destroy the wall. So, uh, yeah. Hmm, am I even recording my voice properly? Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, I was a little unsure about that, but oh well. OBS confirmed it. Hmm, let's see now. Right, so that's a bomb, and that'll just destroy everything in the blast radius, which is uh, highlighted with red, so that's pretty nice to know. Hmm, let's see now. Well, okay, so that's just a little combo point. So you get one combo point when attacked. Combo point turn your attacks into different skills, so let's see now. Hmm. Equipment, heavy strike, finisher, repeat, create a phantasm for four seconds, it throws phantasmal fireballs to enemies whenever you'll alert uh, tasks, dealing eight fire damage. The maximum phantasms you can have is three. You lose a skill, create a phantasm for six seconds, it taunts enemies and throws phantasmal fireballs automatically. Dealing 8 fire damage, the maximum phantasm you ha can have is 3. And, um, finisher is pyroblast, firing an immense flaming boulder, dealing 40 fire damage and burns enemies for 4 seconds. Hmm. Maybe strike, launch a fireball on fierce flame, dealing 20 fire damage. And, yep. Hmm. Alright, so that's you down. And I see Dan. Okay, so, um, how am I supposed to get over to the other side? Okay, looks like the devs didn't think this one through. Hmm. Right, so, never mind. Turns out I wasn't thinking properly. Turns out he just had to attack the one in front of it, uh, plenty of times first. And that's how he got past that, uh, blockage. And just nail you. And, yep. And uh, I think this game is just going to turn into a, uh, actually, uh, left mouse button and dodge at the enemies. And, yeah, that's how you win this game. Is mash the left mouse button, or whatever your attack button is, and then just, uh, try not to get hit. Hmm. Let's see, can I even destroy those things? Or no. Doesn't it appear so. So I guess I'm just gonna have to stay out of the radius. Okay, each, uh, whatever these symbols are, uh, grants target 50% damage dungeon, finishers break, um, uh, shield on hit. Hmm.
All right, so let's just uh, play the game of attack the enemy enough times. And that's how you uh, win. All right, so that's that dealt with. And... Whoop. Didn't uh, hit the threats target with the finisher, but oh well. And that takes care of that. Moving on to the next room. Oh boy, it's a boss. And managed to get my first perfect dodge this entire game. Alright, so... Yeah, it's just a case of staying out in the way of those big uh, skeletons. Ow. I thought I dodged a bit. I guess not. Alright, so I just have to stay out of the way of that and survive, like so. And oh boy, it's so one of these scenes again. Time to break their shield, like so. And that should detonate and this should cause that to go off and yeah, that takes care of that. So I guess it's consecutive explosion time for that one. Hmm. Eh, okay. And it's time to uh, be aware of the skeletons. And that takes care of that one. And that takes care of both enemies. So apparently the finisher can go through multiple enemies, so that's good, you know. And yeah, you can also get the uh, enemies stuck on the spy traps in this room. Like so! And that's how you take care of that. So that's nice, you know. And yep, that's 58 gold. Room of Elements approach the... Room of Elements and then spend all to buy power-up spells. Yeah, something tells me English is not the first language of these developers. Oh well, that's okay. So, let's see. Fireball ricochets to an, ad an additional enemy for each focus you have when cast, plus 5% damage. Flaming Bolt pierces three additional enemies, returns to caster. Fire Blast forks, minus 10% flying range. And I think I'll take the, uh, fireball. Alright, so... And hit the FP. To pay respects. As the old meme goes. Hmm. Alright, so I'm supposed to go down this path. Hmm. And yep, focus after perfect dodge, you get two focus and then perform repeat or at least it's still depending on how many focus you have. And that unlocks this tree. Hmm, I wonder if there's any health regen in this game. I should probably think about, uh, taking a thumbnail screenshot soon ish. Maybe when I'm in a room with a bunch of enemies. Hmm. Let's see. Now let's let the waves go out that way and then just uh, take this so that's the health. Ow. I should perfect dodge with a. Right, so that takes care of uh, both of those. And yeah. I guess this requires perfect dodges, so I guess this is the room where you learn how to do that. Alright, so that takes care of that one, and yep, that takes care of that one. Well, that's gonna be annoying to figure out how to do. Consistently, at the very least, because I kind of suck at rhythm games. Okay, now it's, uh, time for the thumbnail screenshot, so yeah. And that was another perfect dodge, so that's nice. Hmm, alright, so that takes care of, uh, that round of enemies, and here's another one. Yep, and yeah. Kind of learning how to time the enemy, really. Like so. And that did scare that mess. Alright, so let's grab some more health and some more health. And is there another one? Yes, there is. Ow. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I managed to dodge that one well enough, so that's good. And grab some more health, and now I'm back to full health.
So yeah, excuse me if I go silent, because I'm trying to survive this room. And apparently I got two perfect dodges twice in a row. And another one. And another one. And another one. Take a drink of whatever uh, liquid you have on hand. It's uh, not alcohol. And, uh, yeah. Ow. Didn't manage to get that perfect dodge uh, that time. And got that, got it that one, and... Let's see now. I just have to worry about this one, and... Ow. I just realized how close to death I am. So let's just span the space bar elsewhere. Ow. Yep, another perfect dodge. Turns out spamming the space bar just works. Ah, uh, guys. Alright, so that takes care of that enemy, and where's a big uh, skeleton? Alright, so that's another one. And that takes care of that one. Yeah, I guess this room just requires multiple perfect dodges in a row. Yes, if you're wondering what I'm matching, that's my keyboard. Oh, hey, there's uh, some help. Ow. Well, I guess that's uh, that room. Uh, Dead too? Oh dear. Words failed me. Yeah. I guess this is take two in this room. I wonder how many lives I get. Eh, okay. Yeah, the perfect dodge enemies are annoying. But, uh, somewhat doable if you manage to learn the rhythm. And are aware that, uh, the red circle on the ground means danger. And it's time to get out of that way, and... Right, so, managed another perfect dodge, so that's good. Right, so, let's see now. That's two perfect dodges in a row, three, and another one, and another one, and... Right, so that's that enemy taken care of. Hmm, I'm surprised I haven't taken any damage yet. All right, so, that's another perfect dodge, and that takes care of that round of enemies. On to the next round of enemies. Oh, dear. Right, so that takes care of that one, and hmm. Yes, if you're wondering why I sometimes go completely dead silent, it's because I'm trying to survive this room. Oh dear. Yeah, something tells me I'm probably not going to come back to this game at all, mostly due to how frustrating it can be for uh, right now. And having to get so many perfect dodges in a row. And I'm not good at rhythm games. Okay, I think this is where I'm probably gonna throw in the town because I think I've shown you enough games to... Hmm. Never mind. Let's uh, try this one again and then throw in the town if I don't manage to pass this room. Right, so let's see now. Hmm. You know, I'm surprised at how many perfect dodges I've gotten, and that I haven't uh, taken any um, endpoint damage yet, yet, being the operative keyword here. Oh dear. Alright, so that takes care of that one, and it's time to worry about the big uh, skeleton. And, uh, yeah, on to the next round of enemies. No, maybe you aren't supposed to get past this uh, room, and it's not a skill issue, it's a, uh... It, it, and maybe it's just a case of the developer never thought anybody would get here, so why not, uh, toss in an impossible room that you're not supposed to get past to? Wouldn't it be the first time something like this has happened in video games? Oh dear. But anyways, that's just a conspiracy theory of mine. Alright, so that takes care of that one, and time to just spam the, um, uh, hmm. What's this? Wolf and battered, plus 20% damage to elusive skills. Eh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Ow. Hmm. And I'll take the Tome of Fire spells. Thank you very much. Hmm. 
Ow. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do the pass out room, uh, if you ask me. Anyways, that was, uh, Sarmage, and the link for the stream will be in the description below, and feel free to yell at me if, uh, it isn't in the description below, and I somehow, uh, managed to sneak another game's link in there by mistake. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one tomorrow at 3 p.m. Mountain Time, U.S., and bye! Thank you.